Hey everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see an interesting case. That is a twisted or malrotated intuitant contraceptive device. Recently we have got a patient came to us for lumbar spine x-ray. You can see the x-ray shows a displaced intuitant contraceptive device. But when we did ultrasound of this patient to search for the displaced intuitant contraceptive device, we saw that uh, the intuitant contraceptive device was malrotated. That is the inverted T-shaped appearance. Unfortunately, I couldn't record that patient's video, but this week I have got another case of malrotated intertent contraceptive device. So I didn't miss this case, and let's see what we have got in this patient. Here's a picture of a normal intertent contraceptive device location. You can see the vertical part of the intertent contraceptive device is well visualized in longitudinal section, but the horizontal part is understandable when you check the transverse section of the uterus at the level of the body. So this horizontal part should be seen at the upper part. Let's see a normal case on real time. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus and the vertical part is well visualized here at normal location. When we rotated the transducer, you can see the transverse section of the body and the horizontal part is well visualized here in normal location. When we are getting downwards, you can see the lower part of the intertent contraceptive device with the string. This is a normal positioned intertent contraceptive device. And if you do the three dimensional ultrasound of the uterus, no matter whether it is transvaginal or transabdominal, you can easily understand the normal orientation and position of the intertent contraceptive device. You can see this T shaped appearance is well visualized here. So this horizontal part should be present obviously at the upper part of the uterus. But in our today's case, you will see this horizontal part will lie at the lower part of the uterus. So we are calling it a twisted or inverted T-shaped orientation of the intertent contraceptive device. So this was a 32 years old female patient who came with the history of season section three weeks back with history of insertion of copper T. Now she came to us for a parvaginal bleeding with odor, fever and lower abdominal pain. Primarily she was suspected as a case of endometritis and sent to us for evaluation with ultrasound. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. The endometrium is thick and hypoechoic which goes in favor of endometritis but we are not focusing on that. You can see some endometrial collection also and a hyperechogenic copati in situ. On transverse section, you can see the string at the upper part. This is the hyperechoic string of the copati. And the horizontal part at the lower portion. You can see this is the lower part of the body and this is the upper part of the body. You can see the horizontal portion at the lower part. We have put the color Doppler. You can see increased vascularity towards the endometrium. There are some collection also within the endometrial cavity which goes in favor of inflammatory change. Here's the picture of the transverse section of the uterus. On the right image, you can see the upper part of the body of the uterus where you can see a hyperechoic focus that is the cross section of the lower part of the intertent contraceptive device, which should lie at the lower part, but now it is lying at the upper part of the uterus. And on the left image, you can see the lower part of the body where you can see the horizontal part of the intertent contraceptive device. So I'm trying to demonstrate to you this position of the intertent contraceptive device in this diagram. It got malrotated or twisted during the insertion, so the appearance came like this. Usually when we see the intertent contraceptive device at the level of the body, we just note it as a case of normal intertent contraceptive device or IUCD in situ, but we definitely should check the location of the horizontal part. Here is the color Doppler finding. We have checked the predominant supplying vessels towards the endometrium and they showed low resistant wave pattern which is possibly due to the inflammatory change. So in summary, a postpartum bulky uterus is noted. There was hypoechoic thickening of the endometrium with increased vascularity and some endometrial collection which goes in favor of inflammatory change. 
There is an ecogenic intrauterine contraceptive device that is copper T in this patient which appear twisted or inverted T-shaped orientation. Now the take home message. Malrotation and displacement of intrauterine contraceptive device can be better observed when uterus is scanned from fundus to cervix both longitudinally and transversely. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video helps. If it helps, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and obviously follow us on other social platforms. We are also posting our videos on our Facebook page. So if you are not following there, don't forget to follow that page. We are updating that page daily. So that will be helpful for you to get connected with us. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.